This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, a schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. But when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Today's going to be a fine day. Little curves and triangles over Britain. So, plenty of sunshine all day. What's that thunder? You bet it was, sweetheart. <laughs> and that's only the beginning. And for my next trip, the voice of storm. A banana man, if you're watching, the weatherman. Oh! If you want to end up like that, use me, the banana man, and I'm sure you don't. You'd better forget about the weatherman. Not coming lightly. While that fearful threat was being delivered, Eric was already tracking weatherman's location with his crystal direction finder and eating a banana to produce an amazing transformation. Banana Man, at supersonic speed, flew towards northern latitudes and danger. He ignored the deadly ice stones which bounced off his rugged frame. And there it was, the weatherman's battleship of the skies. Good morning, madam. Milk? Yogurt? Um, pies? You come in, banana man. <laughs> you see, I'm not fooled by that clever disguise, and now you are a prisoner in my lighter-than-air ship. Oh, no, I'm not. Have a heavier-than-air custard pie. Mm. Taste delicious, I admit, but no thank you very much, banana man, or you, the party's over. <laughs> uh. Now that you're helping I should explain how I rule the weather. See, that's ice station zero immediately below. See that? Mm -hmm. It's like a giant storage battery. Storage battery? That's correct. It draws cold energy from the polar ice and... Uh, no? No, absolutely. I convert the cold energy to bad weather by radio impulse. Not too technical, this is it. That comes to my control panel. I and see. It, yes, and meanwhile, my ruthless robot snowman stands guard. Ah. Ah. But enough of all this. It's time you were leaving, Banana Man. I'm sorry about your icy reception. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. And so Banana Man plunged down to the Arctic waste below. But the weatherman hadn't reckoned on Big B's electronic thermal underwear. A quick burst of heat. A cloud of steam. A little reverse thrust to slow his descent. And target in sight. Ice Station Zero. Hi there. I'm from the Arctic Electricity Board. Come to read the meter. Your clever disguise that doesn't fool me, Banana Man. I shall destroy you. Hmm. Hot stuff, eh? Oh. Well, no time to look for an instruction leaflet. Ha ha! Wait till they get next month's electricity bill. If anyone calls, I'm out to launch. And just in time, too. For below, Ice Station Zero was reduced to nothing. And so, as the weatherman's airship careered out of control, lost in the Arctic sky, he sent his last transmission. Ah, uh, yes, well, we uh, would appear that I have to proceed using the hubbub of our banana man. But you haven't heard the last of the weatherman. Never mind. The sun's shining again. Thanks to Banana Man's cool courage and heroic endeavours. You tell them, Fiona. I'm bashful. <laughs>